Well, I would love to just get everything back. Yeah. Because it's some of the things, you know, losing my daughter, my mom, my, mm. my, my nephew, and my dad. I mean, I have a lot of sentimental things. And I was trying to basically just move everything out and find me a, 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 a place to live. You're not going to believe it. After yesterday's crazy storage unit auction up in Cleveland and all the surrounding cities, I came to another storage unit auction today in Akron. There were only five units. I bought three. And the stories behind them are going to blow your mind. Conky got one too. Let's go check these units out. Totes, the guy was supposed to be a tool guy of some sort. So. Cocky. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I see 23 totes. There's got to be something good in those totes. Uh, out of 23 totes, Noreen, what do you think? I think we're going to gain some good stuff. We already yeah. found some games, so that's Yeah, cool. that's just peaking. Oh, so. If there's games, if there's games, there should be systems. How much again? Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. And I was I was hoping Dave wouldn't go anymore because I really wanted it, and I didn't really want to go over three hundred bucks. But I, I did the final, that one last bid over your limit. You know what I mean? Are you, are you gonna shoot the fireworks off or what? I don't know. I saw those. I wonder if they're in there. I think so. Yeah, you got you got yourself a nice vacuum, that's for sure. Anyway, yeah. And a ton of fireworks. A ton. A tube. And. Alley. And you got a phone charger yeah, right there. Wanted, it so looked like he had an iPhone. That looks like an iPhone. You're good to go. This building here, this is their climate controlled building. I've never been in this building before. Hi everybody. Uh, I bought a unit in here for $40 and I'm a little confused how to actually get in here. Rob and I are still trying to figure it out because there's units in there. We'll figure it out one way or another. We'll get to that unit. Can't believe it, Rob. We finally got in here. We're looking for 1073. Here's 1086 right up there. I've never been in this building before. Have you ever been in here before? First time. So it's for both of us. Okay, 1082. Climate controlled, okay? Whenever you hear the words climate controlled, that usually means somebody had something worth more money. I'm at 75, 74, because they pay extra money. There it is, 1073. They pay extra money to make sure that their items are okay in that 72 degree temperature. Mwah! Here we go. Okay, here's what we saw on the screen. Remember, the, the manager was actually there recording for us and broadcasting. We saw a dolly, we saw the trolley, we saw two boxes. Why would you keep two boxes there? They are. You see them? Right there. There they are. Okay. All right. This one's bursting at the seams. Now, this, this is a U-Haul dolly. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. You guys are all thinking, Jeremy, you don't own that. It's stolen. Yeah. I own it. I legally own this now. The person who rented this from U-Haul was then charged upon stealing it. It's paid for. They stored it in here. And now because I legally paid for this unit, I legally have this appliance dolly. And I'm actually pretty happy about that because I only have to put a couple boxes on it to get all the stuff out of here. Now, I've got a, I've got a cart too. I actually have one of these already from another unit, but there's another dolly, it's a cart. $7 rental fee, that was a $10 rental fee. $7 rental fee. I could use this as a makeshift skateboard, like this. I mean, just like, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! woo! But that's not what I'm gonna use it for, because I still have, uh oh I still have two boxes. Two boxes that I gotta know what's inside. Okay, are you ready to figure this out, Rob? Oh man, why store two boxes? Kind of heavy, kind of heavy. Both of them are kind of heavy. I do not have my knife. Let's see what we got here. Why, why take the U-Haul equipment and only put two boxes in there? Remember, I have two more units, two big units. And, okay, whatever it is, they double wrapped it. They double wrapped it in garbage bags. Oh, 
something's down here. Okay, there's tape. Rob, I don't have a knife. Do you have a knife? No knife today. All right, Rob. Ooh. Here's what we're gonna do. Here we go. I just, I gotta know. Come on, come on over, come on over. We got clothing. Here's a, here's a purse, here's a purse. There's stuff in it, there's stuff in it. Okay, so there's a purse, clothing, wrapping paper, shoes. Here's another purse, okay. Oh, Bedding. Smoke. Here's another purse. Oh, money just fell. Money's oh. falling everywhere. Oh, Money's gosh. falling everywhere. Okay. Okay. Let's um let's check out what's in these purses. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Closer, closer, closer. Come on in. Okay, here we go. This is a I don't know what kind of purse. But we're gonna find out what's inside. Let's just dump it out. Definitely oh, have gosh. money. We have money everywhere. <clears throat> And we got nastiness everywhere. Okay. Um, change. There's change in that purse. Holy cow. All right, here's another purse. Oh! Okay. There's definitely change in that one as well. And some other nasties. I'm not, I'm not sure I want to stick my hand in there, there's to be honest Jeremy. with you. Uh, they're in the truck. All right, this is the heaviest one. Here we go. Let's see, what do we have in here? We have, let's just dump it out right here. We definitely have more money, right? We just heard it. We have whatever that is. And look, Rob, we have a knife for oh. the next box. We have a knife for the next box. Nice. Remember, always cut away from the important parts of your body. Whenever you're cutting, maybe we should just, I was going to try and stick it. You can do it. Do it. Boom! Perfect. Just like that. All right, here we go. We got another bag. There's another bag in a box. I feel like we're shipping because it's a bag in a box. And you know what? Let's just, let's move this box out of the way. All right, come on over in. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to dump this out. We're going to see what's inside. <clears throat> it's just easy. There's some solids down here. Here we go. Why do you say? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. We got a bag. We got, we got Be My Love. Yeah, okay. We got some pillows. We got... This is mostly... You know what? This is going to be kids' toys, isn't it? Look at this down in here, Rob. We got kids' toys, paperwork, dinosaurs. You know what? I was originally... I bought this unit because I thought it would be dynamite. But it ain't right. This is the second unit I bought, and things are getting a little bit crazy because when I came, I actually asked Vanessa, and Vanessa is an amazing, amazing manager. I asked her, does anybody want their unit back? Because I'm all about it. She said, no, nobody has contacted them. Let's take a peek here. Let's take a peek. And this is a big unit. This is a 10 by 20. It's got all kinds of furniture. There's, I mean, reality is I don't know everything there is. I mean, you've got a fork here. You've got, I mean, if we peek, we do see some Budweiser signs back here. But what's happened is while the actual uh, auction was ending, I paid for everything already. All of a sudden, the district manager gave me a call and said, hey, the former owner actually is interested in the unit. Would you be interested in restoraging the love? And they know that's right up my alley. Here's the phone call with the district manager. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. If she wants her unit back, if you could uh, give me her information and then I'll get in contact with her. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, storage is always an issue for these people. So I'll touch base with her. I'll see. You know, I'm always, I'm always about doing that and I'll haul it to her if she's got a place to put it. 
All right. Okay. Yep. Sure thing, Max. Appreciate it, buddy. Okay. Bye-bye. One of the units that I bought, uh, the owner, previous owner, Cindy, she wants her stuff back. So maybe I'll get to restore the love this time. Nice. Let's go see what's going on with Vanessa. Vanessa is mine and George's favorite storage unit manager because you have a heart for people. We love you to death. Thank you. What happened? You got a call? Um, I got a call from Miss Cindy. Um, she said that her she tried to pay her bill before it got closed out. Yeah. We had already started the auction. Yeah. Um, and we told her that we would give you her information since you are the guy that bought the unit. Yeah. Um, which I have for you right here. I appreciate it. You know what the crazy her part is? Give her a call. We couldn't guarantee anything, but that we would make sure that you got her info. What's the first thing I ask you right before the auction starts every time if I come to say? Anyone wants their stuff back. Yep. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere Cindy calls she did. and I happen to get it you did. this it is incredible <laughs> and you're incredible as well thank you so much thank Vanessa you. I've got Cindy's number as a matter of fact I'm ready to call her the most challenging part of restoraging the love is trying to give things back to people that don't have places to put it I mean really that's why they bought storage in the first place right they rented storage they had to put everything in storage they lost it because they didn't pay their bill and Cindy apparently is homeless let's give her a call let's see if we can do anything at all at least she has a number we can keep our fingers crossed Hopefully. We're sorry, the number you have dialed has calling restrictions that have prevented the completion of your call. Mm. Announcement 19. We're sorry, the number you have dialed has calling okay. restrictions that have prevented the completion Let of your call. Let me double call. check. Announcement da, 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 da. It's the right number. So, a lot of times, um, the homeless will have phones that are government issued or they get from different agencies and and they only have so many minutes or so much data on those phones so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to try again and we're gonna see if we can get a hold of Cindy we'll think of something somehow some way we'll think of something attempt number two Come on, Cindy. I'm trying to help you. I need you to answer, Cindy. She may not be able to answer. She may be in a position where she can't. This is going to get difficult if we can't get a hold of her. Because I wanted to actually give her the unit back tomorrow. We're sorry. The number you have dialed has calling restrictions that... I have to go to unload the trailer at the warehouse and then figure out how I'm going to get this unit back to Cindy. Number three. Attempt number three. Let's see what we can do. Come on, Cindy, answer. I did get the entire trailer cleaned out and cleared out. So it's, it's completely empty. It's ready to go back to public storage in Akron tomorrow to get Cindy anything she wants, and I'll haul all the garbage away. There's, there's something she doesn't want, I'll haul it away. If there's something she does want, she can have it completely and totally for free. If I can get through. We're sorry, the number you have dialed has calling restrictions that have prevented the completion of your call. Announcement 19. We're sorry, the number you have... This is gonna prove to be extremely difficult because she's homeless. I mean, I can't even reach out to anybody to get into contact with her. Uh, maybe I do what I did with Erica. Let me see if I can find her on Facebook and see maybe if she has Wi-Fi and Messenger on Facebook. I did find five different Facebook accounts for Cindy, which is an unusual when you're in a homeless situation. And one of them did say that she was running an actual fundraiser for the homeless shelter where she was at and she was selling everything. <clears throat> the reason why it's not unusual with the Facebook accounts, 
by the way, it's hours later I'm trying to actually call again, is because they'll lose their phone, their phone gets stolen, they don't have access to the old account, and they have to create a new account because the password's just gone. It's on another phone. So a lot of times they'll just create another account, another account, another account, found five. And I messaged all five. I haven't gotten a single message back and I have to plan my day for tomorrow. We're sorry, the number you have Come dialed on. has calling restrictions that have prevented the completion of your call. Announcement. I, th I actually thought I had her that time. Almost 10 o'clock at night. I don't know if we're ever going to make this happen. I'm trying. Hello? Hello, is this Cindy? Yes. Hi, Cindy. This is Jeremy. And I was at a storage unit auction today. And um, the management mentioned that you had called and you wanted to see if you could get things from your unit back. Right. Because I was like, she, she gave me... Um, the, the, the thing is, it was $200, and then they charged me $250 late fees and, and lien fees. So I asked them, could they take all them lien fees off so I could get my storage? Yeah. And they was like, they was like no, we can't. So I called a corporate, corporate and they said, yeah, they took the lien fees off. So that so, was, they took off 250 of the lien fees? Yeah, they yeah. took the two, about, it was about 260 uh, lien fees. Because it was five hundred and sixty dollars. Wow. So I only had to pay two seventy. And then um, the lady that was working with me, she was nasty and rude because she didn't like it because I went over her head. And it was like, well, last month, you know, we took the lean fee off. I said, but still, I'm still a customer. You know, I'm still spending money. I mean, I'm, I'm, y'all charged me almost two fifty, and then two fifty for late fees and, and lean fees. And then she said, okay, I'm going to, I asked, it was, it wasn't nothing working for me today. So uh, a gentleman walked up and asked me, could he use my phone? And do you know that he went and, and, uh, he put some kind of code in my phone. Now my phone is locked up. Wait, you let, you let somebody use your phone and. Yes, a gentleman walked up and asked me, could he use my phone? I was like, I don't let people use the phone. He said, it's emergency. I said, okay, to block the number because I want to buy call me back. Do you know when he got my phone? Do you know he, he put his own code in and now I can't even use my phone? Are you serious? Yeah, and then not only that, my friend let me use their phone. And every time I called, the lady wouldn't answer the phone. She, she already knew that. She already seen that stuff in my story. And, and I don't know. Sometimes a lot of them people be, I mean, it's just me. I think that they... They, um, I think some of them, when they see your storage, I think some of them sell you out. That's how I think. Now, she told me she going to give me an hour because I had a debit card. I had two debit cards. So they were saying, which was stupid, I need to put them all on one card, which didn't make no sense. So I'm around here trying to try to put one on the other card. I still, she paid me an hour. But 45, within 45 minutes, she sold it. Yeah. So. And then they wouldn't, they wouldn't answer the phone. So we're, here I run, I come out there and, you know, I see her and the, whoever the supervisor was, they said, well, there's nothing they can do. Yeah. So. Well, they did do something. They they gave me your number, so that that proves oh, okay. that that they're interested in trying to help you because they gave yeah. me your number. Yeah. So I asked would they do that and see if we can work something out. Well, I, I'm curious. I'm curious as far as where you are in your life right now. You know, you obviously you were renting storage. Do you have a place to even put anything? What what does that look like for you right now? Uh, yes. I have a place to put it. Yeah. Where yeah. where would that be? Would that be in Akron as well? Yes. Yeah. 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 So w one of the things are are you interested in getting everything back or is it just certain things? Well, I would love to just get everything back. Yeah. Because it's some of the things, you know, losing my daughter, my mom, my mm. my my nephew and my dad. I mean, I have a lot of sentimental things, 
and I was trying to basically just move everything out and find me a a, a, a place to live. Yeah. I so do you have a place right now? Yeah, I have a place right now. But the thing about it, my landlord's giving me a lot of problems. Yeah. And this agency was going to pay him the money, and he said he didn't want the money. He wanted me to pay the money. That's interesting. Most landlords don't turn down free money. Right. But, you know, I mean, I don't understand that one. You know, I've never heard of such. Yeah, I haven't heard of anything like that before either. So did you just did you just recently get an apartment? No, I what it is, I've been here, but my landlord, his wife is sick. Okay. And my landlord, um, he's, he, he's very well off, but when his wife got sick, Medicaid and Mary, Medicaid and Mary, Medicaid and Mary, Medicaid, Medicare and Medicaid yeah. did not cover his his wife has cancer. It, it wasn't covering up some of the bill. So he basically ended up selling everything that he owned and he kept working just to, you know, to just to basically keep her alive. So, you know, basically he just gave me an eviction notice for the 12th. Oh, the 12th of, of next month or this month? Of, uh, next month. Next month. So you have to be out of there by the twelfth. Is that unless, where? You, is that unless, where? Unless, unless, um, unless uh, this attorney had called, because he seen my name on one of the papers down there, and he said he might be able to help me. So is is that the is that where you're trying to put everything in the apartment there? It's a house. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So one of the things that I like to do is is I like to, to buy storage units and I like to give them back to the people who lost them because particularly in my life, I went through a, a horrific time as well. I went through a horrendous divorce. Uh, I lost absolutely everything. I was living in a home for months during the winter where all the copper was stolen. I had no heat. I was literally going out on the, the curb lawn on garbage days and getting anything wooden I possibly can and burning it in the fireplace just to keep warm. And so I understand the hard times. I understand that life is ebb and flows and, and peaks and valleys and and so through through those hard times, I have a heart for others who have gone through hard times. And so I have I, I would love, absolutely love to to gift you all of your items back. What we would have to do is kind of figure out how to do it and right. um, and where it would all go. So the benefit of me doing this and buying storage units and 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 championing a, um, a movement I like to call uh, Restorage the Love. And, and it's a pay it forward thing where we, we, we want to be a blessing to others, encourage them to be a blessing to others. So the, the challenge is going to be when are you free and how can we get the items to you? And when I say how can we? I mean, really, it's going to be me and me and you, and it'd be it'd be even better if you could help me load everything up and then unload everything as well. Okay. Does, does that sound like something that we can we can work together on? Yes. When are you typically free? Okay, um, I'm going to Atlanta in the morning for a funeral. Oh, tomorrow morning you're going for yes. a funeral. Oh my. Who, who passed away, I if you don't really mind me don't. asking? My, my, my last aunt. Okay. I really don't want to go because I am so sorry. And I don't want her to be sorry. I don't want her to be sorry. And so I just don't want to go. Okay. I really don't. My, my, my last aunt. Okay. I really don't want to go because I am so, so exhausted. Yeah. And, um, but I mean, I'll have no choice. Yeah. But you... I won't be back until probably Monday. Okay. So, do you want me to give you a call back on Monday then? Okay. Okay, it was so. So, how long do they let you keep the storage? Two days. So, then what do they do? They charge you? I start having to pay money. Okay. Um. Just like you, exactly what you had to pay for it, I have to start paying for it. Okay. Well, maybe I can um, 
pay, you know, pay for it. Pay for the storage until I get back or something. That that might be an option as well. How about how about I call Vanessa in the morning? Okay. So I'll call Vanessa in the morning and I'll see if she's okay with that if I transfer into your name and then I'll give you a call back. Is that fair? Yes. Okay, so let, let's plan on that and we'll see what we can do. Okay, Cindy? Okay. All right. You have a good night, Cindy. Okay, and thank you so, so, so um, much. The, the, the honor and the blessing is all mine, Cindy. I love to help people. But look, I have... Um... Uh, let me see. Do you buy houses that are full of stuff? I do. Okay. Because I got these two houses up here on Hawkins. Um, are you familiar with Vernon, Vernon, uh, Copley Road in Hawkins? Yep, I am. I am. Okay. Uh, there's these two houses. And they have, they're, they're, they have a lot of stuff in them. Do you own and the houses, or are they owned by somebody I, I else? I don't have the house. I don't own them, but um, the, I, I'm responsible for them. And the guy, I've been, I haven't had them for a lot of years. There's a lot of stuff in there. And rent it out to different people, and they destroyed it. And instead of me just um, trying to finish yeah. up and clean up and do whatever I had to do, I really got, I lost, I, 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 I got to, I lost interest. Yeah. And yeah. I couldn't find help and stuff. It's hard to find good help. It's so hard to find help right now. Yeah. Most definitely. And then, um, the, my friend has uh, a store, a thrift store. She's trying to get rid of the whole contents. Well, let, let's do this. I'll call Vanessa in the morning and see where we okay. can go from there. And then when I come back up, I don't live near Akron. So I, I have quite a drive to Akron. When I come back up, maybe you and I can discuss the, those other options as well. So I'll start in the morning with Vanessa, give you okay. a call, and then we'll see where we can go, okay? Okay. All right, Cindy. You have a good night, sweetheart. Okay. Thank you so, okay. so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay. What a big difference from Erica, who was just hostile and rude, to a Cindy who says, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. We're going to do everything I possibly can. We'll see what we can do. we got to make a phone call in the morning to see what Vanessa says.